I have a disagreement about the whole Palestine-Israel thing. I promise not to take up as much time as the last person no who was up here. But um, I'd like to open with a maybe like a little statement, which is that, you know, I'm not too partial to either particular side of the political spectrum. Um, but I think that a sad reality is, is when we talk about the Palestine issue, uh, it's the Gaza Strip is 50 percent people under the age of 15. Um, it's about 2 million people and about 5 to 25 square miles. And the reality of it is, is that Israel has said they're going to make a complete siege of the area. They've cut off electricity. They've cut off water. Um, and that's kind of a sad reality. And the reality is they also can't leave. There's only two ports of entry and exit. And so as much as you or others might be pro-Israel, how do we not condemn the Israelis for taking away resources like water from a population that's the majority children? Um, and, and at what point do we say that it's kind of an open genocide, right? Like when, well, when well, Israel – well, I mean, I, I know I know it's easy to – You to, realize on Saturday they killed 900 I, Jews, I'm not, right? I'm, I, mean, I, understand, yeah, I, I understand. One side's doing the genocide. The other side is retaliating. Well, one, well, one yeah. side's definitely swinging up and one side's swinging down. And I think that when you're a, when you're a strip of land in which all of your water, airways, and, and, and electricity is controlled by a state – uh, which you can't leave, and it gets bombed by missiles. I don't really think it's quite equivocal. I mean, obviously, everyone here can condemn the killing of civilians, and that's not a debate that I'm I'm going to have with anybody, left or right. Sure. But um, but at what point or time, you know, you say you criticize Republicans, but uh, why don't we ever cri like criticize Israel for uh, for what they're doing by turning off water? I mean, how? Well, well, I'm what, not going to criticize like? again. Well, let me just ask a hypothetical: if, if Cuba came to Miami and killed 50,000 Americans, would, should we cut off their water? Answer the question. No, if, absolutely not. Okay, I disagree. You you think we should cut off water to a to if people? if the Cuban government came and killed fifty thousand Americans, which is the population equivalent, right? Sure. So nine hundred Jews would be fifty thousand Americans. Yeah, yeah. I would completely support war against a country that kills fifty thousand Americans. Cuba is the same, about similar distance, right? So yes, I would restrict. I would restrict food, water. It would be all out war against the country that touched our homeland. Well, you know what they call all out war against a, a populace of people that are stuck in an area. It's, it's a genocide, right? And so as much as I No, agree hold on a second. No, 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 no. First of all, if that was the case, why is Israel telling civilians to leave a certain area, number one? Well, if, only that are allowed to hold leave, on a second. right? Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. What? Like, are Palestinians allowed to leave the Gaza Strip? Well, they're moving to a different location of the Gaza Strip before bombardments happen. That's number one. Number two, they're already talking about humanitarian corridors being built. Did you know that? They're yeah. talking about humanitarian corridors sure. being built with Egypt. So there's already a plan from both the Mediterranean side and the south side. But honestly, I'm not going to overly specify this because war is a really brutal, nasty thing. And you could say whatever you want about Israel. We're not going to agree on it, right? Sure. Israel did not invite this war. No, I, I don't think so either. Right, but, but just... they have to retaliate, and war is the worst thing humans do. Here's my prayer, sure. that Israel doesn't overreact. Americans don't send troops and that this is short and that the terrorists that did this are held to justice. That's what we need to publicly say. But I, I, I am not. And you're, you're right. There are kids that are going to die. That pains me. It should, the heaviness should be on you. But the answer is you just kind of roll over and allow people to come into your country, into kibbutzes, into concerts, and mowing down people and say, you know, get, catch you next time. I'm just not entirely sure what water has to do with the conflict, Mr. Kirk. I, I just don't see how the Israelis, it's the Palestinians, war. the PLO, and, and Hamas honestly, can use water. Two things. Here, here's, the, here's the issue. The Palestinian Authority is too busy spending $300 million a year incentivizing the slaying of Jews instead of actually going and purchasing water filtration services, you know, all, all sorts of different things there. Number two, so they build their headquarters under hospitals. It's a fact. Uh -huh. They use the entire population of women and children – in Gaza as a massive 2.5 million person human shield. That's sick. There are no good solutions here. There's not one that I'm going to say this is wonderful and beautiful and glamorous and this is excellent. It's all crummy. It's all hell. And they invited hell. And something that we like to gloss over as Westerners is we get to live in a very peaceful society, relatively, and we don't realize that sometimes you need a Dresden. And that's a really hard thing to swallow. But guess what? What we did in World War II to defeat the Nazis was 100% morally defensible. And there were people that also died. Israel has a right to defend themselves, and they're going to retaliate. And Hamas, they brought this upon themselves. They were the stewards of those women and children. And as stewards of those women and children, they said, we don't care about the women and children enough that we're going to go into the other. They knew what was. You're trying to tell me that they're shocked 
that they're getting bombarded and their water's cut off and their electricity is cut? No, they invited it. Final thought. Sure. I, I, I wouldn't necessarily say they, but I, I do understand the sentiment, right? Okay. I, I do agree that Hamas brings it upon themselves. But I think we can agree. Here's what I will say. I do not think U.S. troops outside of very specific special forces to rescue Americans, which I'm sure you might be able to agree with, should be involved in this conflict. Yeah. We can we cannot allow ourselves to get into another Middle Eastern quagmire that Lindsey Graham and Nikki Haley and Mike Pence might try to get us into. That is something we can agree with, okay?